From dried flowers to edibles and pre-rolled joints, cannabis dispensaries across California sell various types of ways to consume it. But the subject of cannabis can be controversial depending on who you talk to. Cannabis is legal in California. To ensure products that reach the shelves are safe, the Department of Cannabis Control has a number of licensed labs to conduct tests on the products. I got a chance to talk to one of the lab's partners with the DCC, co-founder and CEO of Infinite Chemical Analysis Labs, Josh Sweeter. He explains some of their findings at his labs. So you can start back about a year or two ago when the LA Times article was released and looking at different products on the shelf and focusing primarily on the DCC's list and seeing that there was products on the shelf failing for even the things that were supposed to be screened for. Um, a lot of those samples had alarming numbers of pesticides and alarming concentrations. Um, as in definitely something that's way over any prescribed action level that the state of California determined should be the action level for that pesticide to be sold. But why is it alarming in the first place? Why it's so alarming is just, first of all, if the state's requiring testing on these products and that much is making it onto the shelf that's failing its own internal testing protocol, then we have a problem either with, with producers, with labs, with somewhere along the line, there's a, something broken in the chain that the product is making it to the consumers unsafe. To put that message into perspective, Sweeter explains some of the data they've discovered. So, so we are seeing the changes of that, and you do see it as in eliminating. I mean, back in 2018, 17, I, I had a shelf study uh, showing 80% of the samples failed uh, for the DCC list, as in multiple pesticides. I mean, some of the, some of the stuff in the recent, we would find 13 pesticides up to 2,000 times the action level. So that, that is alarming, and it's just uh, it's one of those things that the public should know. These discoveries aren't just in the legal market. Contaminants are also being found in the illegal and hemp markets. In fact, Sweeter says contamination rates are even higher. It's for this reason that companies are putting more emphasis on testing to provide more safe products. Well, you can find trusted brands and retailers, or brands mostly, the brands that produce products, and, and they are high, holding themselves to a higher standard. And what I mean by that is they are doing additional screening. They're making sure that their product is the safest to consume. That goal is also being emphasized in cannabis dispensaries like the Artist Tree. In a statement on how they look to be a benefit to the community, the company says, quote, Our mission is to provide safe access to legal cannabis, raise awareness of the health benefits of cannabis, showcase artists from the community, and break stereotypes surrounding cannabis sales and consumption, end quote. Sweeter says although their findings can help the industry improve the products sold on shelves, there can be improvements and even regulations to what they've learned. We the, the the amount you learn in one year in cannabis, uh, it is like being an infant to a PhD. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's just one year. We're, we're sitting at eight years and we've learned so much, but yet we haven't seen a regulation change to support what we've learned. And then and then learning and growing as an industry and taking the data and using it is what we need to do. So it needs to not just be stagnant regulations, yeah. but actually holding these regulations to a higher standard. Um, and that's what I, I think we need to do as an industry is kind of move and grow with it. A growing industry with a need for growing research. In Fresno, this is Carl Cook, Fox 26 News.